Sammy. This is Alvin Kamara, who made the Pro Bowl in each of his first two NFL seasons. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Breeze now to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Shaquille Grip. with a pick. The Seahawks take over first and 10 at their own 48-yard line. Good starting field position here for the Seahawks as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. This is Chris Carson, 1,000-yard rusher a year ago. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. And a cutback right side. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Chris Carson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this is a catch by Ted Ginn. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. On second down, Camaro. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation... Go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Ready. Five eight. Five eight. Fifty. Come on. No chance. Jim. 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 Check nickel. 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 Shoot. 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 Under crush. Under crush. You kill. Check. 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 Right they run with a former Viking and Raider. It's Latavius Murray. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Ready? Yellow lady, yellow lady. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara, and he'll get four here down to the 35-yard line. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest gain, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Ready. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Kamara trying to right side. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be third down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. Let's go, boys. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? The hope for this blitz coming, and down he goes. Demario Davis. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight.
Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now it's Wilson. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. And partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. March 47. Check, 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 check. Hatch it, hatch it. Alert, alert, alert. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the shotgun, Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately. I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. Now, a few times he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Meanwhile, down in Glendale, that one now a two-touchdown advantage for the Panthers. We'll keep you updated on that one as it progresses. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. Ready. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. From the gun, it's Breeze. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Jaron Reed muscles his way in for the sack. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack He's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? A good return there. Call it 13 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. It's a big play there for Seattle. 57 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. Now it's Carson. And he's going to ball his way down to about the one-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. That's what they wanted out of that first down play. Run it down there, now they're knocking on the door. The only thing that would have been better was getting it in, and now they can do whatever they want because they've got confidence on their side. Line up quickly and go, or savor it a little bit, but I run right back at them. 
And he'll try to punch it in. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. A big play to start the drive got him in this position, but this defense has held firm since, and now it's third and goal. To throw is Wilson, and he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Tyler Lockett, his fifth touchdown now on the year. Yeah, the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. The extra point now coming from Myers. And this one's right through to make it a 14-3 ball game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Ready. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio... That answer is one, and that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Michael Kendricks, the linebacker, there to get him down. Brings up second and seven at the 28-yard line. Ready. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here goes 21, 21. My 50, my 50. Off the play fake to Kamara. It's Breeze. He gets this one complete to Traquan Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards the pick up there. First down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Kamara. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Ready? Yellow lady, yellow lady. Double dog, double dog. That's the way. On second and 11 now. Breeze. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this is going to be intercepted. A great read and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. David Moore, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On the delay, here's Carson. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Back, back, back. Hey, zero, zero, zero. Fuck that, fuck that. Joker, Joker. Here's Wilson. 
eluding the pressure right. And an alley to run. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The rushing numbers for Wilson may be down from earlier in his career, but he's still a threat to go, showing it there, picking up the first down. On first down, it's Carson. He'll take this from the 40 up to the 45 for a gain of five. You got it! You got it! Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits from these creases like they were able to exploit right there. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The coach. All right, we get slap happy up here sometimes. That right, didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. From the gun on third down, Wilson. He's got Lockett. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 28. And that's good. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now... And he's across the chalk into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Chris Carson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. Here the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Now Myers for the extra point. And it's 21-3. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these teams, special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And you're under a minute to go in the half, a first half that hasn't been particularly kind to you. How do you think they'll play this? Well, I think the smart approach is to run out the clock, lick your wounds at the half, and see if you can come up with a strategy to play better in the second. But there's also something to challenging your offense right here. You know, hey, guys, you help dig this hole. See if you can get us out of it a little bit before the half runs out. Let's go make some plays. Make these babies cry all the way back. Throwing on first down is Breeze. He'll let it fly in the direction again. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, New Orleans. Ted Ginn, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints are able to strike quickly for six. Well, that touchdown certainly helps, but they've got to go ahead and convert get to the half, and figure out how to keep chopping down this lead in a second, don't they? Yeah, they still need to regroup, and they still need to end the second quarter strong. A little bit of time oh, left. Will Lutz on for the point after. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something on first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times before. A lot of people say it's not even worth trying, but I'm running a draw. I'm running a screen. I'm seeing if something pops. And if it does... He's got a man complete! And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Now that's one they hate. The ball's got to come all the way back. So that's an explosive play, a really explosive play that gets wiped out, and they have to start over after the penalty. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Time here for likely a couple plays if they want it, but with the field position what it is, maybe better suited to just sit on this one? I'm with you, Toe. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Pass the 20. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Russell Wilson with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further. Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. Well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is supposed to help their offense, not give up another touchdown. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will. I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'm going to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Get 
They run again with Carson. And once more, this play going in the wrong direction. The Saints get to him behind the line again. It's a loss of four. Now third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Now a toss play. It's Carson. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. Here's Ginn. Great blocking on the return. It springs him for 25. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever they whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Breeze now. Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze, and the Saints up against it here. You kill! It's our time. It's our time. Mark 50, Mark 50, Mark 50. Watch the screen, watch the screen! Watch the screen, watch the screen! Watch the screen! Hey, three turns! Now Breeze. He'll let it fly in the direction again, and almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Not 
Still just the third quarter, but they've got to make something happen. I think they know that. They're going for it on four. So here we go on fourth down the breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. A surprising move to go for, and predictably, at least somewhat predictably, it doesn't pay off. And the Seahawks, they'll get the football back in outstanding field position. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. Pressure comes and Wilson's going to go down. Demario Davis able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And they went empty backfield, and because of that, nobody was there to pick up the blitz. And you know that offenses, when they go with the empty backfield, they have different things designed on every play to try to account for things. But what people often forget... Defense is audible as well. And a lot of times when they see an empty backfield, they audible right into a blitzing situation. On second down, it's Carson. He'll get three, but it leaves him with a big hole here on third and very long. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Here's Wilson. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. One here? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Mm -hmm. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened there. You think that factored in? I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. Now Breeze finding Kamara, and he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So first and 10 now from the 30. You kill! They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Again, it's Camaro. And he finally goes down at the 23-yard line. A big play there out of Kamara. 46 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's Murray. And able to get about three as he's taken down right at the 20. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Oh, now Murray 
Ray has it stripped. And the Seahawks have picked it up. They may have the edge on the scoreboard, but that hasn't made them pass it, has it? I mean, they've, they dialed up a pretty good run blitz there. And, and, and Brandon, you know that all blitzes aren't just designed to get to the quarterback in the pass. Or sometimes you're just trying to take away every gap, every hole that might be created in the running game. And they did it to perfection and caused a fumble there. Took away the gaps, took away the holes, took away the football. Ready. 95 56. Let's set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. No, no, no. Off, off, off. He's the opposite, opposite, opposite. On third down, here's Camaro. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. The Saints on fourth down last year, 13 of 16, second best in the league, and they'll try it here. They run. It's Camara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Saints take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Lutz good on the extra point. And that will shave one more off this lead. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Fielded about a yard deep. He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Second and six, just inside the 30. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it. And the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Now it's Ginn. They'll call that a 61-yard punt. He got all of that one. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Drew Brees, six fourth quarter comebacks a season ago, and that led the NFL. He'll try to deliver another one. Back to the air on second down. It's Breeze. And he's going to be brought down. Back at his own six-yard line. Unable to stop K.J. right there as he slips by for the sack. Oh, 
Third and long now after the sack of Breeze, and the Saints up against it here. To throw is Breeze. Gibb has it complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. The Saints do snap it. It's Breeze. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 35. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. Draw play. This is Carson. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. They'll run on first down. Carson. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in, and all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football, get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And they go the wrong way here. Knocked back to the 20. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. And whistles, and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. And Myers able to knock it through. And that'll push the lead up to 17. So with that, you figure yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Aren't I, though? The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They're down big here late. I, I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. Ready? The run only got you're a ready, yard. Ready. Here's second and nine. I'm gonna run you tonight. Now this time, Breeze will throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Quadre Diggs. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. The extra point now coming from Myers. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, 
there could be repercussions. Ready. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Bree's going to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield. Complete. Give him three on the play. And just like that, it's third down. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now Breeze. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense... Be aware, ball may come your way. Ready. Breeze Ready. now, 9 of 17 through the air. Let's get it together, defense. Let's get it like that. Again, it's Breeze. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. That'll be incomplete with nine seconds now showing on the clock. The Pro Bowler Michael Thomas was the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now we'll get whistles, and they've signaled for a timeout. Not sure I see the logic in this, but we'll get a stoppage anyway with five seconds remaining. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze, and the Saints up against it here. Now Breeze. Pressure gets to him again. Boom! A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Seahawks, it's back-to-back -back victories now after the Week 1 defeat as they move to 2-1. and one. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, they'll fall to 1-2. and two, And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.